Good morning, everyone. How are you on this Tuesday? Um, my days are starting to blur together. I had to think what day it was. Today is Tuesday, and welcome. Um, I am excited to be here with you. I tried, I made Play Doh in our other video, guys, and I can't upload it, so I'm working on that now. Um, parents, I gave you a simple recipe. Um, instead of going out to buy Play Doh, um, if you wanted to make and do an activity at home with your children, um, I gave you an idea on how to make a simple ho homemade Play Doh recipe that I love. Um, it allows you to um, add some different um, scents. You know, I made mine today with pumpkin pie spice, so it smells really good. The blue kind that I used the other day had peppermint in it, essential oil, and I've also used lavender essential oil. So. The things that are needed to make the Play-Doh could very well be in your pantry already. Uh, and if not, they're very easy to get at the store and relatively inexpensive. So um, I wanted to say good morning to everyone. Um, I went to school yesterday really, really quickly just to get our easel so that at home, instead of me using a piece of paper and a pencil, um, I'll be able to use the board. So I wanted to say good morning. Let's get started with our good morning song and our weather song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine. Hope you are too. How are you today? Reach to your neighbor and bump their elbow. Reach to your neighbor and bump their elbow. Reach to your neighbor and bump their elbow. How are you today? You know, the other thing you could do is um, give everybody a fist bump. Reach to your neighbor and give a fist bump. Reach to your neighbor and give a fist bump. Reach to your neighbor. Give a fist bump. How are you today? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you today? All right, weather helpers, it is time for you to look out a window and try and figure out what's the weather today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is it cold and snowy? What's the weather today? Can you tell me what's the weather? Excellent. Very good, weather helpers. You are getting very good at this job of being a weather helper. So good job. Speaking of helpers, I hope that you are being a good helper at home. Your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas might have jobs for you to do. Parents, if you're watching, I encourage you to give simple jobs to your kids. At school, that ranges from getting something off my desk if I'm in small group and I need it, or helping another child pick up and clean up, or anything. We've, anything, any, it could be anything. We have kids pushing in chairs. We have kids, of course, being the line leader, and that's really difficult at home. Um, but give your child something to do, simple things. It could be making their bed every day. And kids, you listen to Miss Lori. I have lots of parents say, oh, they help you at school, but they never help at home. I need you guys to do your part at home. We're all stuck together inside. Um, sometimes, you know, lately we can't go to the, really the playgrounds and play. We can't go to the museums or to the zoo or to school. And so I need you to show your parents and your grandparents and your aunts and your uncles and whoever's house you're at. I need you to show them that you know how to be a good helper because I know you know how, okay? Sometimes you don't want to clean up. I get it. I don't want to, I have to clean my room today. I don't want to clean my room. But it's important that we take care of our home. Do you remember our rules at school? And I didn't bring them home. I didn't bring them home with me. But our rules at school is that we take care of ourselves, we take care of our friends, and we take care of our school, right? Well, those rules can apply to home. We take care of ourselves. We, we get ourselves dressed, right? We can do that. When we go to the restroom, we can wash our hands, right? We can help pick up our toys. We take care of ourselves. We take care of each other. We take care of our friends. We take care of our sisters and our brothers, and we help them when we can. 
Now, I know that you are going to have arguments with your brothers or your sisters or your cousins. I get it. That's okay. But for the most part, we can help each other. And then let's take care of our home, right? If you're at someone else's home, especially. But when you're at home, you can do things to take care of your home too and to take care of the things that are in your home. Clean, help cleaning up the kitchen. Help cleaning up your toy room. Help cleaning up your bedroom. Help cleaning up the living room. There are things that we can do to help take care of our homes. And so I need you guys to apply our rules from school to home while we're there. Can you do that? I would love to hear parents give me great stories of you guys helping at home. And I expect to hear those, okay? So do a good job. Right now, I thought, we haven't done this in a while, and I would love to show your parents and your grandmas and your grandpas how we do our mindfulness and how we close our eyes and we quiet ourselves and we listen to our chime. So we're gonna do that. So I want you to sit on the floor if you're on the floor right now, and I want you to crisscross your legs, and I want you to close your eyes, and we're going to listen to the chime until it's completely done. And while you're doing that, I need you to breathe in and breathe out. Parents, in this time of anxiety and this time of worry, this is a great opportunity for you to be able to practice this as well. It quiets ourselves. When the kids get super rowdy at school or when they're having a tough time kind of gathering themselves um, or being silly or we're being you know, anything, this is a great way that I take to quiet them and you can do the same thing at home. It doesn't have to be a chime. It could be just that you take some time to sort of just close your eyes and gather yourself. This is a very difficult time for a lot of you and I know that. It's a difficult time for all of us and so this is a great activity to kind of be mindful of our surroundings and of what we can be thankful for. So kids, are you ready? Let's show our parents, our adults in the room, in the house, how we do this. So Miss Lori's gonna close her eyes as well. Close your eyes and let's listen. Let's do it again. I didn't do it hard enough. Great job. Excellent. You guys still hear it. Good job. That breathing really centers us. And what the chime does is it just gives us and gives the kids something to listen to. I know that I need it. Um, it gives us something to listen to and listen for until that that noise completely goes out. And now we're quiet and we're ready to start our day. So today I have lots of things. I'm going to make a couple videos hopefully today. One now and maybe one later. But I wanted to start off with our 10 frame. I grabbed this at school. Do you remember when all of these are filled, how many squares we have? Do you remember? 10, that's right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good. So let's, let's practice looking with our eyes and telling how many squares we have. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. How many squares do I have? Two, very good, that was easy, that was easy. You guys know that, okay. So I'm going to see if we can do a couple more. Are you ready? All right. How many is this? Four. Let's write. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay, okay. Don't look, don't look, don't look. How many is this? Oh, that was too easy, too easy. One, that's right. So let's give you something harder. How many is this? Can you look with your eyes and not have to count? It's okay if you have to count, but remember, the top row is five. If all of the squares are filled in the top row, that's five. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. 
All right, let's do a couple more. This is just a good practice. Are you ready? How many do I have? Okay, remember, the top row is five, so we know that. We can go five, six. We have six. That's right, very good. Oh, one more. Do you remember how many boys and how many girls we have in class? It's the same number. We have a certain amount of boys and we have a certain amount of girls. It's the same, and it's this number. Are you ready? How many is this? Okay, remember, let's do it together. The top row is five, six, seven, eight. Good. We have eight boys and eight girls in our classroom. And let's make our number eight. Are you ready? Let's make our number eight. So we're gonna make an S and race to the top. Do not wait. That's how we make a number eight. Very good. Can we practice that today? Make an S and do not wait. Race to the top to make an eight. Very good. The other way that you guys like to do it that's easier, you guys like to do it this way. Eight. You can also make an eight like that too. But I want us to practice this as well, okay? I want you to do those. Those today, we're going to practice our eights, okay? Make an S and do not wait. Race to the top to make an eight, okay? Very good. That's our eight. All right. Do you remember yesterday? I said it what letter we did, and I said it when we were making our eight. Do you remember what letter yesterday we started talking about? Good. S. 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 Let's see if we can make that. Remember, it's two small curves, right? So then we're going to go this way, and we're going to make our S. If you don't want to do the curve way, you can just, I always say, let's make a snake. S. There's two different ways to make that. When we make it, when we use our curves, our lined pieces in handwriting without tears, we use two curves. So curve one and curve two, okay? Good, good, S. So I want you guys to practice your S's today, S. I like to make them S, S, as, as big as little s okay we're gonna make and do you remember what sound the s makes what sound does the s make s very good very good so let's see if we can remember something that was in our bucket that begins with s I'm gonna draw it, see if you can remember as I'm drawing. What in our bucket begins with S? That's right, a sun. And inside my sun, I made a lot of rays because it's super sunny. Um, in our sun, I am gonna write the word sun, S U. N. Sun. Very good. Oh, Mr. Sun. Sun. Mr. Golden Sun. Please come out and play. The other one we have is a seal. A seal. I'm going to write that word on the board. S. Seal. I hear an E. A. L. Seal begins with S. And boop, 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 boop. Mr. Daddy Seahorse. Seahorse begins with S. C. I also hear an E. C. Horse. H. O. R. S. E. So sun, seal, seahorse. And we said. I'm going to make a plate, and we said, what do we eat? Spaghetti! Spaghetti. I'm going to put some meatballs on my spaghetti. Spaghetti. Let's spell that. Sp. 
S P A G H E T T I. Spaghetti. Spaghetti! And seahorse and seal and sun all start with S. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Say goodbye to our seahorse. Bye, Mr. Seahorse. Say goodbye to our seal. Bye, Mr. Seal. Say goodbye to our sun. <laughs> we want the sun. Bye, sun. I love that the sun is smiling. Does the sun make you smile? If it's sunny outside and you need your sunglasses and it's super sunny, do you do you like sun? Does it make you smile when you go outside? Oh, when you go outside, is it sunny and you want to smile? I hope so. All right. So today, the other thing that I have. Oh, do you remember what note I wrote yesterday on my paper? Do you remember what note I wrote? What does that say? What song did I say we were going to sing today? Coconut soap. That's right. So I do not have a CD player, but I have it on my phone and I think we can do it. Will you sing it with me, please? Because it's one of my favorites. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Wash my, wash my elbows. Wash my arms with coconut soap. Wash my face. Wash my neck. Wash my shoulders with coconut soap. I wash my hair with shampoo. I brush my teeth with toothpaste. But when I wash the rest of my body, I always wash with coconut soap. Good. Wash my back. Wash my tummy. Wash my chest. With coconut soap. Wash your feet. Wash your Wash your knees. Wash my legs. With coconut soap. I wash my hair with shampoo. I brush my teeth with toothpaste. But when I wash the rest of my body, I always wash with coconut soap. Good. Hands. Hands. Elbows. Elbows. Arms. Arms. Rub-a-dub-dub. Dub. Rub Face. Face. Neck, shoulders, shoulders, rub a dub dub, back, back, tummy, tummy, chest, rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub, feet, feet. Rub a dub dub, sing it with me. Wash my hair with shampoo. Oh, I brush my teeth with toothpaste. But when I wash the rest of my body, I always wash with coconut soap. Always wash with coconut soap. Good job, guys. <laughs> I love that song. So over the course of the next few days, we'll try and sing some of our favorite songs at school because I miss being at school. I went to our classroom yesterday and it was dark in the hallway and it was dark in the classroom and I didn't see anybody, nobody. And I got our easel and I said goodbye to our classroom for a while and I was very sad. But it's nice because I have a few things here from school that I brought home. So 
All right, so we've sang, we've written, we've uh, did our chime, we have did our subitizing on our 10 frames, we practiced that. All right, so one more thing for today. Oh, and I have bad news, guys, bad, bad news. I cannot read books to you online anymore. So if you think to yourself, oh, but Lori's not reading us books, I can't show you the books anymore. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll read a few books and then I'm just gonna tell you the stories. It's just gonna be me and you guys are just gonna have to imagine the pictures in your stories. So I am going to tell one story today and then I'm gonna show you a new activity that we'll do a couple of, of cards of. We won't do them all. I just got done laminating some things. And parents, this is very easy. Um, as I do this online, you can find I'm, you find these colored popsicle sticks at the dollar store. Again, I live at the dollar store because I don't feel bad. If the kids break stuff or if, if it just falls apart, uh, when we had our bakery unit, a lot of the, the things that I had in the bakery, the, they got cracked. Some of the candles that we were using, not lit, but just pretend to make birthday cakes, got broken. Not a big deal because everything that I find is at the dollar store. And I'm not saying that money isn't important because it is. But I find that I feel better if we've used it and used it and it's been loved and it's got broken. It was only a dollar I can go and replace it. Because when you spend a lot of your hard-earned money and something breaks, that really doesn't feel very good. So you can find these at the dollar store. I bought these on Amazon. Look at all the colors, guys, that I have. Let's see what colors I have. I have orange. What color is this one? Can you see? Red. I have yellow. I have purple. I have green. And I have my favorite color, blue. Okay? So these are all the colored ones. And I thought this activity was great because we have been studying about construction. And I love to drive around the neighborhood sometimes and see what kind of construction is going on. And we talked about, I want you to see outside, see if you can find someone working with a big excavator or a loader or a forklift and what they're wearing on their head to protect their head. What, what do we have in our dramatic play? We have hard hats, that's right. So I got these, and these are builder patterns, and these tell you exactly what colors to use and how to make this. So I'm gonna stick this up a little bit, and we'll see if this works. I want you to be able to see it, because if you end up going to the Dollar Tree and getting some, you guys can build with me, okay? So we're gonna build this. What do you think that looks like? Do you think that looks, what do you think that looks like? I'll tell you what I think it looks like, but I want to hear your ideas first. They're more important than mine. That's right. I think it looks like a house, but I also think it could be a rocket ship because look how that goes up and down like that. All right. So we're going to use, what color is this? What color do I need first? I need a blue one. So I'm going to put a blue one like this. Let's see blue. I'll just poke this up like this. And then, what color is that? Hmm. Red. So I need a red one. And I may need to do it on the side, because I don't think it's going to fit on my cart. So I have a blue and a red, right? So what do we, what two sides do we need? What's this one? Can you see? Oops. On the side here. Yeah, we need purple, and then I need a blue. So I'm going to push this up to the top, and then I'm going to get a purple, and a blue. You know what? I'm gonna have to turn. I'm gonna have to turn this so we can fit it, which is great. Okay, so we've got this. Let me get my card so we can reference. Good. Okay, so we've got, I'm gonna put this to the top. We've got purple first. Hmm. Purple. Then we have blue. Good. And then, what do we have down here? Now, it's very difficult to see, but this is orange and this is red. So we're gonna make, 
it's like the top of a triangle. Orange goes up. Red goes down. And then we're gonna make the other side. What sides do we need here? We need two more. We need, I'm gonna go up from the bottom. So we're gonna do green and then yellow. Okay, I'm gonna put this card down. I'm gonna do green and then yellow. Hmm, there we go. Move that up a little bit. Does that look like my card? Yeah, look at, it does, good. That was fun, huh? Would you like to do one more? Let's do one more. I'm gonna knock all my, ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna bulldoze it all the way off. Bulldozer. I pretended my card was a bulldozer. Now parents, you're probably wondering, and adults if you're in the room, why we do a lot of these activities. Well, we've learned that little ones like you have at home, although you guys aren't little, aren't you? You're big. Um, three, four, and five-year-olds love to learn through play. They learn through doing. So that's why I don't always just teach from my board. Yes, this is important, but it's even more important that they get their hands into doing something and building. I can't tell you, I have laid Legos out and I have blocks in the block area. And you know, because I've sent some of the pictures home, they make some amazing creations. Your kids are very creative. And kids, you know you are very creative. I tell you all the time. I love how you use the materials at school. So we're going to build one more today. And I'm going to hold this up. I don't know. What do you think that is? What do you think that looks like? Yeah. Some of you might have said it looked like maybe an I, the letter I. Kind of does. I don't know what else that could be. You know what? I wonder if this is a bar, like a pretend bar, like people could hang on. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my little person out, and I am going to make a bar for them to hang on. Where's my little person? Where's my... You know what I need is that pirate I had yesterday. Here he is. Hi, Mr. Pirate. All right, so we'll, we'll make a bar for him to hang on. All right, so... What color? Can you see what color we need at the top? We need a red one. So let's start off with the red. And then we have two sides. Let's start on this side. Blue and yellow. Very good. Got that? So we need a blue and a yellow. And then I'm going to do the other side. What colors do we need on the other side? What's this one? Orange and then green. Okay. So I'm gonna get an orange and a green, ah, green. And then we need three colors at the bottom. So that top one is purple, then what? Yellow, yep, and then what? Red, I have to look at that. It is red, you're right, red. So purple, see if we can remember that, purple, then yellow, then red. Very good. And then I'm going to make, I have to put my guy's arms up. Hang on. And he's going to hang from the bar. Look. Oh, Do you see him? I'll hold him. Can you see him? He's hanging from the bar. And then he's going to let go and go all the way down and bulldoze. Look at that, let's do that again. He bulldozed our things off. We need, where's our purple one? He bulldozed our sticks off. Let's see if he can do it again. All right, pirate, let go. Woo, so cool. He totally bulldozed those off. Awesome, awesome. Well, I have more of those for tomorrow and we can see what else we can make. And again, if you guys get, I know you're not supposed to go out, but if you're at the dollar store or anything and see colored popsicle sticks, uh, you could get those and they could do it at home. All right, I have one story and then I'm going to be done for today. And it's one of our favorite stories that I told recently with you guys and we are going to do trip trap, trip trap. You know what? 
I don't have enough goats, but we're gonna use this guy as our troll. And where's my G bucket? I, do you remember why? Cause goat, I'm gonna do the three Billy goats gruff. Okay, and so we're gonna use a goat. And I'm gonna tell you this story and then we're gonna be done for today, okay? All right, we need our bridge. I need a bridge. All right, okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. There was a big billy goat, a middle-sized billy goat, and a little teeny tiny billy goat. And they lived on this beautiful hill of grass. Oh my goodness. They ate and ate and ate the grass because that's what goats do. Well, the goats needed to have more grass because they ate it all. Well, they looked across this bridge and they spied more sweet green grass. And they wanted to go over that bridge. But there was a problem. The problem was underneath this bridge lived a mean, ugly, nasty, selfish troll. But the billy goats got together and they said, you know what, we have to go over and have something to eat. So we're going to be brave. Are you guys brave? I think you're brave. So the first to go across was the teeny tiny billy goat. And his little hooves sounded like this. And he went across the bridge. Trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. Who's that trip trapping on my bridge? <laughs> and the little teeny tight billy goat guff said, It's just me. I'm a little teeny tiny billy goat guff. And he said, I'm going to eat you for my supper. <laughs> and the little teeny tiny billy goat gruff said, No, 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 sir. You don't want to do that. My bigger brother is coming and he has more meat on his bones. You can eat him. And the troll said, fine, go across the bridge. Trip, 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 trip. And he went over to the little other side to eat green grass. Well, now it was the middle billy goat scruff's turn. And he was bigger than the little tiny billy goat gruff. So he went across and his hoof sounded like this. Trip, trap, trip, trap. And he went across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's trip trapping on my bridge? And the middle billy goat gruff said, It's me, the middle billy goat gruff. We're going across the bridge to eat the sweet, sweet grass on the other side. And the billy, and the old, oh, the mean old troll said, No, you're not. I'm going to fix you for my supper. And the middle billy goat gruff said, You should wait. I have a great big, big brother. And he has lots of meat on his bones. He would be better to eat than me. And the troll said, fine, get off my bridge. Trap, 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 trap. And so now the troll was very hungry and he waited. Do you see him? He waited. He waited for that big billy goat gruff to come across. Pretty soon, here comes the biggest billy goat gruff. And his hooves sounded like this. Trick, trap, trick, trap. Because he was heavy and he was big and his hooves sounded louder. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And that troll jumped up on the bridge and said, Who's that trick trapping on my bridge? And the biggest, meanest, baddest Billy Goat Gruff said, It's me. Biggest billy goat gruff, and I'm going across this bridge to eat the sweet green grass with my brothers. And if you get in my way, I will headbutt you with my horns, and you'll fall into the river. <clears throat> the tr oh, troll said, you should try it. I'm going to eat you for my supper. And as the troll went to get him, the billy goat gruff lowered his head, pew, and he, whoo! Hit that troll and the troll splashed in the water. Help! And the billy goat gruff went across the bridge. Trap, 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 trap to join his brothers eating sweet green grass on the other side. 
and the troll went under the bridge on the water. <clears throat> he was wet. And he said, I think I'll just stick to eating berries and plants. I'm not going to try and eat billy goats anymore. <sighs> he was so tired from swimming. And the three billy goats lived on the other side of the hill eating the sweet, sweet green grass. And everyone was safe. The end. Bye. Say bye to the troll. Oh, and bye to the goat. See you later. The end. And that is the end of our day. Have a super extraordinary, amazing, wonderful day. See ya.